In this video, we feature three short courses on career development, employee policies, and business continuity. The target audience for all courses is the client's diverse global employee base. We've done our best to disguise the client to protect their identity. This client is a global organization who desired an e-learning training courseware, which was modern, exciting, challenging, and used the element of surprise. The courses each employ different visual metaphors that engage the learner and speak to the specific content. All courses adhere to the client branding guidelines while displaying varying styles which educate and stimulate excitement. First, we have the career development module. Here, we use the journey metaphor. The Career Development Initiative's basic focus is to encourage individual employees to take responsibility for their own career development and to appropriately utilize the tools at their disposal. Creating and using a development plan involves five key steps. Define your goals and your action steps. Identify what resources you need. Determine measures of success and review your progress. Click on each sign on this screen to learn more or select Play All to see all of the steps. Short-term goals should be accomplished in the next year. Long-term goals look further into the future. Click on any of these profiles to see sample short-term and long-term goals. When building your plan, it is important to think about how you will measure if you have achieved your goals. Simply completing a series of action steps does not necessarily indicate that you have been successful. To determine measures of success, consider how the achievement of your goal will impact what you do and how you contribute to your team, department, and the company overall. Now that you know how to build a plan, it's time for you to create your own and use it to navigate your path forward. You have now completed this tutorial. We are all faced with decisions every day, and how we choose to respond in situations can significantly alter the outcome, positively or negatively. Next, we have the Employee Policies module. The objective of this course is to demonstrate to all employees the importance of understanding and accepting the policy framework, and implementing those policies consistently across the global organization. This short course on employee policies is divided into policies, each illustrated by one to three fictionalized scenarios produced as video segments using professional actors on location. Carlos gets a tip about a news story that is about to break. I just saw something here today at work. Oh, okay, here it is. Um, the publicist for Swiss Global is pushing to get their CEO on our 10 a.m. morning news program tomorrow. And apparently, she was pretty insistent that it had to be tomorrow morning. Is that good? It means that there's a big announcement coming. Is Carlos doing anything wrong? Wait a second. You say there might be an announcement about this tomorrow morning? Yep, 10 a.m. Doesn't that mean you're relying on private information? I mean, I couldn't have seen this by turning off TV, all right? Oh, no, yeah, you, you're right, good point. It's just that we were talking about it last week, so I figured I'd call you and let you know. Carlos, listen, do you know it's called insider trading and you can go to jail for that? You need to think more carefully about what you're doing. If Carlos profited directly or indirectly from that news, it will be illegal. We pride ourselves on never stopping. Our business keeps running, and we are always available for clients. But imagine for a moment if our work was interrupted, if things just paused. We will face unexpected crises. It might be a natural disaster, political or civil disturbance, terrorism, or network. Finally, we have the business continuity course. Our client historically presented this training to all employees through classroom sessions. Because of the strategic and operational importance of business continuity, the client wanted to address the challenge of providing standardized, just-in-time training that could be shared with all global employees simultaneously. 
transforming the existing classroom content into a dynamic and exciting e-learning program achieved this goal. Here, we have more fictionalized scenarios based on real-life potential threats to business continuity. Again, a video approach was used. These were shot on a green screen and composited the video images over relevant backgrounds. The client wants employees to be prepared, to respond effectively through a disruption, and to know their individual role in preserving business continuity. In order for the employee to complete the course, they must answer a series of questions on all three topics we have mentioned. I don't usually sleep in, but that morning my alarm didn't go off. Nobody expects this kind of interruption in the office. And all of a sudden, this constant activity, it just stopped. And I saw the lights flicker and go out. My phone had a few messages, people texting to ask what was happening. Everybody thought it was just their area. One of the messages was from my manager. It said not to come to the office and to call for updates. I thought, well, okay, I'll call and see what's happening. Well, when Karen called, she mentioned that she had stopped waiting for uh, GCUS, and it's likely that call volume went up so sharply that both clients and employees were not having their calls answered quickly. Each department will have a plan that may involve handing off work to a counterpart in another office or working remotely from another location.